Hello YouTube, how are you people? It's your boy Kevin Gannitz. Today, parked at Best Buy, going inside, I gotta get myself an external hard drive because my old external hard drive failed. I've lost so much data. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside Best Buy, get what I gotta get, go back home, Lena's cooking some Panda Express style orange chicken. Gonna have that, gonna try to go like on a diet so she's not breading the chicken. Just gonna have like a small portion. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'll see you guys inside. You guys are watching G-Vlog. So this is the new normal. You come to a store, you're not allowed inside, you gotta wait outside. That's fine. Got some things to talk about with you guys anyways. In case you guys haven't noticed by the title already, this is vlog number 100. So what does that mean? That means I have way too much time on my hands, but it also means that I love YouTube, I love vlogging, I love when people leave me comments and my friends, when they see me in person, they say, hey, we love the vlogs. I'm enjoying doing this. Vlogging is a hobby for me. With all hobbies, sometimes you need to spend money on the hobby. And unfortunately, the money I got to spend on the hobby is unnecessary because I had an external hard drive before and it failed on me. And I have no idea what was on there before. But things happen technology fails sometimes so I'm gonna head in Best Buy get an external hard drive so that the end of this video could be the way I want so make sure you stay tuned to the end for that so after a short wait outside I'm finally inside and Wow, it feels weird to be in a store right now like this. We've been going to like Publix, Targets, uh, just like essential stores. I don't know if Best Buy is considered an essential store, but I'm in here and that's weird for me. So, the new normal, right? Let me give you guys a heads up on something. For one terabyte, it's $55. For a two terabyte, it's fifty-eight dollars. Trust me, you want to give the extra three dollars. I promise. So now I won't run out of storage when I make my vlogs. Like I'm debating: do I want to walk around and see what they have, or do I just get what I came for and leave? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be safe and get out of here. Hello. Just this piece. I stood longer outside waiting in line to get in the store than I did inside. But I got what I needed. Time to head home. So now I'm in the car. I'm gonna sanitize my hands with my trusty hand sanitizer if I could get it out of my pocket. So what have I learned after filming 100 vlogs? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about my experience, right? So number one thing I learned is that vlogging is not easy. It's a very big process. It's not as easy as some people think it is, or at least to the very least, the way I do it is not easy. It takes me for like a 20 minute vlog, maybe two hours to edit and go through. Lesson number one is it's very hard, it's not easy. Lesson number two is because I'm not a famous vlogger, I uh, only got, oh, recently hit 250 subs, by the way. So that's a milestone. Never got to thank everybody. I just reminded myself. So thank you to everyone who subscribed. It means a lot to me that you guys are helping this channel grow. Like I was saying, when you're not a famous YouTuber, right? People around you don't care to be on your videos. So, for example, 
when I have a good idea and I say, Lena, could you help me? Or mom, Tate, could I make a video like this? I instantly get shut down. So it's mostly just me. I think I should change my profile picture from this one to something like this. I mean, because it's mostly just me in it anyways. The other lesson I've learned is that to be on YouTube and to be successful quickly, and when I say quickly, I mean like a year or two, to be successful on YouTube quickly, you have to niche down is what I've read on the internet. Now, what does that mean? Like if I made car vlogs, I would get all the car community to watch my vlogs if they was interested, if I made good content. If I made gaming vlogs, all my videos would be about gaming. I have a problem. <laughs> my channel is like technically a variety channel. So what that means is I record anything, whatever's going on in my life. I'm documenting my life, that's it. I don't have any specific thing. So you'll see videos on my channel Put them right here you'll see videos on my channel that get a hundred views 50 views and then you'll see like 900 views or you'll see 2,000 views the videos that's getting the higher amount of views are like the trip to Las Vegas me playing poker in a casino my daughter's first haircut at nine years old so the daughter situation she only got that one haircut. I could never film a video like that ever again. It's done. <laughs> the Las Vegas thing. I wouldn't mind going on vacations every minute and trips, but what what's going on right now? I mean, you got to wait in line to go to Best Buy, so do I want to jump on an airplane right now and go somewhere? No, thank you. The poker situations. I always thought about making a poker vlogging channel, but here's the problem. I can't see myself just making poker vlogs. It's very, it's a very tedious process, adding the cards, adding the flop, the turn, the river, uh, putting the graphics on the screen. It's not easy and I can't see myself just doing that. I'm not that big of a poker player. I play poker casually. I play poker to get out of the house for a little bit. Like if I've been in the house all day, and I want to get out for a few hours just to have me time, bring my headphones, listen to some tunes, and see a couple hands, I'll go play poker. I'm never the person that's trying to make a living off of poker. All the poker vloggers play poker for a living, like 90% of them I'm going to say. And those are the ones I watch. I don't watch a guy play poker with $100, that would be boring. So why would I want people to watch me play poker with 100 you understand what I'm saying? Am I making sense? So, the other lesson after this long conversation is that because I make vlogs about so many things, restaurants, church, uh, family outings, uh, events, because I do that, I don't have a rock solid audience. My audience is mixed in. Now, is there a chance that someone wants to watch the poker video and then say hey i like this dude let me see what else kind of videos he makes yes for sure but because i'm not niching down it's a little harder but i don't mind i'm not doing youtube to make money i would like to do that <laughs> but that's not why i'm making youtube videos i'm making youtube videos because i enjoy what i do it's fun i like watching our videos that we make on the big screen I like when my friends and family leave me comments or watch the video and I see them in person. They say, hey, we watched that vlog. It was amazing or it was funny. You got to make more. So that's my situation. So now my vlogs won't have any problems because one sometimes i record too much video and the computer runs out of space to render it and two when i'm done with a vlog sometimes i want to keep it instead of deleting it just in case like i reference it in a future video it'll always be on here and i could just drag and drop cut out the piece that i need and be done 
before I would have to like download the one off of YouTube, like the whole vlog, and it wouldn't be in 4K, it would be in 720, so it was just a bad experience. This, for 57 bucks, is gonna fix all my problems. What you cooking? What you cooking? Chicken. But why are you not like real enthusiastic about it? I don't know. So, this is what we're having for dinner today. This food looks amazing. Thank you. God bless you. Let's give it a taste, shall we? For lack of what? Mm. That was very good. I don't know why I like this food so much. And you know what's sad? I never had the one at Panda Express. We make it at home, but I never had the one at Panda Express. Not bad. Did you get this small soda so I don't drink that much soda? Is that why? Yeah, I figured that. Is there anything you want to say to celebrate our 100th episode? <laughs> when you're not a famous YouTuber, right? People around you don't care to be on your videos. Me and Lena is in Trader Joe's. We're gonna get a couple things from here, go home, and just chill out. What'd you get? So while we go home and chill out after this, I made this next scene for you guys. Check it out. I just shit in my pants.
It's over, Squirtle. I got the high ground. You underestimate my power. true fan or a true subscriber <laughs> I want to say thanks to all my family and all my friends who watch my YouTube videos all the subscribers that I have all the comments that were left on my videos all the thumbs up on my videos it means a lot it really does so that was 100 episodes of G vlog here's to another 100 vlogs I'm Kevin Gatz peace out guys God bless. Catch you guys in the next video.